Google VO3 is absolutely insane. So what I'm going to show you today is some of the stuff that I built recently with VO3 plus how to access it and how impressive it is. This wasn't victory, it was survival. It is absolutely amazing. Let's play another one here. A woman playing a violin. This. So I asked Siri, I said, Siri, where's a good place to hide a body? And she said, what kind of body are you talking about? <laughs> now, if you don't already know, this is basically Google's version of a video generator with AI. So for example, this AI man right here, he is completely made up. He's completely fictional. Let's play his video. You know what you have to do? So you can see an example here of like a man opening up a treasure chest. We can actually download that from VO3 as well. So let's open this up. So we've got the downloadable file over here. You can see that works perfectly. And that is a man opening up a suitcase with a note and a revolver um, saying, you know what you have to do, right? As we can see inside this prompt right here. So it says, a man uncovers a suitcase beneath a tree with his name on it. And then we have the output right here. It usually takes about three to five minutes to generate. Here's another example. So this is a samurai, right? A samurai pulling out a sword. Let's open it up. This wasn't victory, it was survival. So the prompt was super simple here. We literally just said, a warrior stares at their reflection in a blade. This wasn't victory, they say it was survival. So basically what we're doing here is we're generating a completely fictional person with AI. We literally just say exactly what we want and then we use VO3 to generate it. Now, you have to be on the Gemini Ultra to use this if you want some free alternatives then I've actually got a full section inside the AI Success Lab, completely free on free video generator alternatives right here. And I've reviewed some of the best ones inside the AI Success Lab if you just want to get access to some, some like similar stuff. But you can see exactly how this generates lip-synced audio and video at the same time. It is absolutely amazing. Let's play another one here. So this is a woman playing a violin. Let's play the music. So you get the point. Um, basically what we said was a woman playing a violin in a castle filled with dragons. Here's another one. So we said a robot, a robot bartender serves glowing cocktails whilst narrating life advice to no one in particular. Jazz plays from a dusty radio in the corner. And then we have kind of like a movie scene here. This is pretty cool. We have the robot bartender over here having a great time. So let's play this. So you get the point. Now, some people might be saying, okay, can you create like an advert with these videos? You absolutely can. Um, I actually did one a while back with a dragon let me find some examples right here. So I actually created a, a dragon with a short script and generated that. And that was pretty simple and easy to do. Um, you know, for example, you can give them like a one line to say. The only thing is it's going to be a very short ad, right? So it's only going to be like eight seconds unless you stitch multiple versions together. But yeah, it's going to be maximum like eight seconds long. I've actually, I think I've hit my limit for the video, but let's try and generate one now. If we open up a new chat here, so we'll open up a new chat. You do get a limit, yeah, you see here, so I've actually hit my gen video generation limit until May the 25th, <laughs> which is like, I've got to wait ages before I get this back, basically. So super annoying, but I mean, it is really, really powerful. You can also use Google Flow if you haven't checked that out, Google Flow. I've got a free training inside the AI Success Lab, but basically with Flow, you can generate responses as well. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple and easy to do as well using Flow. And that will give you a lot more video generations, but it doesn't seem to do the audio. Here's another example. So this is a comedian. Why don't scientists trust atoms? <laughs> because they make up everything. I actually think that's one of the most impressive so far, because if you look 
at the face. Honestly, 99% of people would not even know that's AI generated. The lip syncing is really good. The accent is really good. Like it's, it's very impressive indeed. But yeah, you could create, for example, uh, adverts on that. You could create marketing, Facebook ads, etc. Some people are asking as well, can you do like uh, image to video? So if you're using Google Flow, you can also do frame to video as well. But yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Now, if we were, if you wanted to get like free access to a free alternative, you could use something like Veo too. You can actually get free access inside uh, AI Studio. I've got all the links inside the AI Success Lab. But basically, if you go inside here and we're like, right, okay, an animate an image or create a video, etc., you can actually do all of this inside AI Studio, and it's free. But it's using the older model, right? So Veo three just came out this week. If you want to generate videos for free with VO2, then you can generate them inside AI Studio as well. But yeah, you can see how you can generate these kind of movie scene like videos. Absolutely crazy stuff. Let's play another one. This is another comedian one. I don't know why, but the videos with the comedians are probably some of the most impressive. So I asked Siri, I said, Siri, where's a good place to hide a body? And she said, what kind of body are you talking about? <laughs> Um, I actually didn't ask it to say that, which is quite interesting as well. So I said, comedian, Brooklyn accent, on stage, Manhattan energy. He says, I asked Siri why I'm still single. It turned on the front camera, right? Um, but instead, it totally made up a random transcript. Like it didn't even say the one that we wanted. If we actually want to share that conversation, we can click on share conversation here. And then it will create a link on a subdomain that we can share with other people. So you don't have to be, for example a user or on my team to be able to access this and you can just get the link, right? Um, the other thing I would say here is like, you need to you need to realize this is on the Gemini Ultra plan, which is like $249 per month. I've shown you ways to get free alternatives, but yeah, just bear in mind, it's like the Ultra plan is, is pretty expensive and unaffordable probably for most people who are not using this for business. And in terms of the number of videos you can generate per day, I think honestly it's something like five, three to five maximum from what I've experienced. Um, I just tested out a few times this morning and, and I hit the video generation limit. It was, it was a little bit annoying. This is another one. So this is a dragon unleashing a firestorm. We have an uh, example of, uh, I think this was Majestic Grateful Dead Universe Fly Through. So let's play this. That's really trippy. That was a trippy one. And this one was kind of like an ad that I tried to generate. It, it was okay. It was okay. But the problem is, like, you want to generate an ad, but. You need the audio to be perfect, you need the ad to be perfect, otherwise you're not gonna spend money on it. And because of the limited generations with VO3, the ads that you generate with this are probably not going to be perfect because you can't keep tweaking them because there's a limit on the tokens, right? So for example, if we play this one. What if I told you? And like, it should be like, what if I told you how to build backlinks, blah, 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 but he literally just stays silent at this point. It doesn't make any sense. Like, no one understands that. But yeah, you can see some examples right here. Now, there's some other crazy stuff as well. So I don't know if you've already seen this, but like, even for example, like video generation, like Hollywood style scenes from, if you type in VO3 on Twitter, you'll see some really cool stuff. This was an insane one by Ruben Villegas. Check this out. Prompt on that, I think, was like a hundred men versus a gorilla at a rave dance off, which is crazy. This is a gorilla. I think the Bigfoot and gorilla ones are some of the best. Let's pull this up. Bigfoot here. Check my breakfast. Bigfoot here. So, I mean, who doesn't want to see a video of Bigfoot eating his breakfast, vlogging away, right? He's having a great time. What I would also say is like quite often in these videos, 
like the actual text at the bottom doesn't make any sense. So if we play this back. What if I told you? Look at that. What if I told you? What if I told you you build ENTYE app in 10 seconds? So there's some weird stuff going on. It's, it's definitely not like 100% perfect. And the problem is you only get limited video generations, which means it's hard to get perfect. But if you just go with something super, it's like simple, vague, generic, then you get a better output. So for example, like Bigfoot vlogging. This is a great tweet by Matt Vid Pro, by the way, who's got an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely check it out. Here's another example. Let's pull this up. Bigfoot here. Check my breakfast. <laughs> Bigfoot here. There's a Bigfoot with breakfast. I mean, just, it's comedy gold. It's comedy gold. All right. Bigfoot here. Ah. All right. Bigfoot here. Like, there should definitely be a... I think Matt Fid Pro should start a YouTube video or a YouTube channel for Bigfoot, and we just all watch videos of that. Let's put another one. So this is another example. Let's play this. Pretty impressive. Like, some of this stuff, you know, a woman playing a violin... Some really like, almost like Pixar style animations as well. That's the way that I see this kind of like, you know, if someone was creating a film that was more based on animation, kind of like an Avatar film, then you could probably, you could probably save hundreds of hours and a lot of money in the, you know, the hiring of people using AI instead. I don't know where the film industry is going, but it's going to get crazy. This one was pretty cool as well. So this was a duck interrogation. Let's pull this up. bath where were you on the night of the bubble bath it's genius it's comical genius like look at the quality of the video here by the way like this could be straight out of a movie it's quite creative even like the background of the lamp and stuff like that there's nothing in particular that stands out to me in this video and tells me it's ai where were you on the night of the bubble bath Bear in mind as well, like, it might not be ready for, for movies right now. Like, it's probably not going to overtake Hollywood right now. But let's just take a step back here and look at, you know, where AI video was two years ago with Will Smith eating spaghetti and how pixelated that video was and stuff. If you look at the rate of acceleration, it's absolutely wild. But also the other thing to notice here is, like, a lot of people worry about computation power. Like, that's the biggest constraint. But quite often, computation power which is obviously limiting VR3, that's why you can only create a few generations per day, like that's something that just as a constraint gets reduced over time pretty quickly. So who knows where this is going? This is another one, so this is Penguin returns for another takeoff. Yeah, he's very, very creative. I mean, you can create stuff that that nobody would have ever imagined a few years ago. And bear in mind as well, like, if you remember when ChatGPT images or AI images first came out, like, the fingers were all wrong or the hands were, like, a big giveaway. But now you can see that in, in for example, that duck interrogation video, that's no longer an issue. So VO3 and the stuff that's coming out from it is just absolutely amazing. This was another one. This was actually created with Google Flow that I did earlier, and this is like dragons just breathing out fire. It's crazy stuff. It is insane. Who knows where it's going as well. Let's have a look. So this is the example of image to video. It's currently only available on VO2, I believe, but I'm sure this is going to come out for VO3. Bear in mind, VO3 was just released a few days ago. So let's play this now. Obviously, there's no audio as well. But even that looks impressive, and that's the old model. Who knows where the new model is going to go? I mean, what's what's Veo 4 or Veo 10 going to look like? That's that's what you got to imagine, I think, at this point. So, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all my notes on Veo 2 with some examples right here, if you want to get access to 
some other details on like the Google Flow update. I've got a bunch of free AI video generator alternatives on this list too. And also tons of other different options on like AI super agents, my best automations, etc. Feel free to get that for free inside the AI success lab. We're also giving away like free trainings every single day as you can see. So for example, we're giving away this one. I mean, every single day we give away a new free training, a new free workflow inside this group. And also, if you want to get coaching, help, support, if you want to know exactly how to implement this stuff for your business so that you can scale up, save time, make more money, feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments and description. This is basically a community focused on just helping you scale, helping you make more money based on what's working for us. And, you know, inside the community, we've got an awesome community of nearly 600 members. You can ask questions inside here. You can ask for any help or advice that you need. And also it comes with my best courses, automations, agents, and workflows. And additionally, inside the calendar here, you can jump on weekly coaching calls about AI if you want to learn how to implement this stuff, right? Because it's one thing knowing about the updates and it's another thing actually figuring out, okay, what systems can you set up to start automating and setting and saving you time, right? Based on your biggest constraints, based on what's working for you. So feel free to get that link in the comments and the description.